right, here we go. <clears throat> I want to show you what I've got here. This is a new um, ceramic battery. The uh, voltage is approximately 0.7 volts. The current is approximately 100 microamps on a continuous basis for <clears throat> I don't know how long yet because I haven't really experimented that way. <clears throat> but I'd like to show you this. This is the um, um, ceramic electrolyte <clears throat> made with clay and um, copper nanoparticles and um, graph and basically a, a small amount of graphene all right <clears throat> what I've done here and he, here here's a larger piece all right um, I'm holding the whole thing together with sodium silicate and as you can see it's it's that's that's a rough piece right there uh, in here it's all mixed together and flattened out but this is just what it what it really is um, and let's show you a little bit about this all right here's here's a graph oil on this side and this is aluminum on this side the aluminum does not degrade and it sticks together because of the sodium silicate. All right. Um, give you a. We'll look at the current first. On this uh, microamp scale. All righty. I'm going to put a lot of pressure. <clears throat> One of the things I've noticed that uh, the more pressure I put on this, the higher their amperage goes and it'll, it'll it'll stay at that that scale i'll give you an idea um, this right here i'm just touching it let's see and you can see it goes up it starts to go up but it goes up slowly all right i take and press down on it and then you can see It'll go on up to over a hundred microamps, and it kind of stays that way as long as the pressure's applied to it. So I'm, I'm assuming that what I'm going to have to do is apply pressure to these things, make them under great pressure. <clears throat> but it is a solid uh, electrolyte, so I don't have to worry about anything. And the graph oil should withstand the pressure and the aluminum should withstand the pressure so it it should be okay i'm not pr putting that much pressure on it's just my finger pressing down right now <clears throat> and show you the voltage right here well let's see See if I can get it connected up here. All right. Well. All right, let's do it this way. doesn't want to show it <laughs> did my did I do this right let's see well, I was doing it. I was showing the voltage a little bit ago got this new is there something wrong here there's always something wrong Let's see, do we have a short going on here? Something's 
Hold on, short. Let's check this out. Might be a short. Hmm. Somewhere right around here. Oh, I was pressing it. There we go. Okay. Let's see if that, see if that fixes it. No. <laughs> Aluminum is still up there. Let's see. Okay, let's try that. Okay, here we go. This should give us a true voltage reading right here. Oh, yeah, if I wouldn't say dumb, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Point 0.4. Huh. Uh, let's see. See if I can get this clamp down on here. So I can use more than one hand. Half a volt. Huh. Well. It looks like it dropped down from 0.7 volts to half a volt or 0.4 volts. So, <clears throat> question is, can I take this and let it charge back up? Will it charge back up? So, I'll tell you what. I will find out in a few minutes here. I'm gonna let it charge back up and we'll check the voltage again. Okay, here's a good example of the voltage um, coming back. Uh, let's see, I wanna show you the current. I got, I've got another um, piece out. I noticed that the uh, bottom aluminum that I had put the sodium silicate on had a crust on it which might have made it to where the there wasn't a good seat down onto the aluminum to give the, the path <clears throat> so <clears throat> you can see it's just one solid piece it's kind of cool it's one solid piece all right <clears throat> So, watch the, the meter here, and you can see it jumps up to over 100 milliamps on a spike, and then uh, if I put pressure on the piece of graphite, then you can see I can keep it around 100 milliamps, I mean, excuse me, microamps. <clears throat> that's not bad for a solid chunk that probably won't ever wear out um, now let's look at the voltage you'll notice the voltage is probably going to be around 0.4 because I just I just uh, discharged this okay so let's see well I think I, I think I shorted it out Hang on a second. Yeah. Okay. I think it must have hit it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I shorted it. Okay, it's good now. All right, here's the voltage. <clears throat> 0.44. Point five. It's climbing. See, it, it recharges itself. Point five point. I mean, uh, four point five three, four point five four. So it is recharging itself. Let's see. We want this other one, the original one I, I had. Goes back to. 4.75, uh, 4.8, 4.9, 4.8, 6. It's slowly climbing back up. <clears throat> okay. I don't know how long it'll take for it to get back up top. Okay, but let's, let's see how much current 
builds back up in that short period of time. Okay, here we go. See, I'm draining uh, at 100 microamps on a consistent dead short there. See that? Consistently. <clears throat> so these little pieces of solid uh, electrolyte and graphoil and aluminum which should last a long time. Um, they work. The internal resistance, though, uh, if I put a lot more um, graphene, graph, uh, or graphite, I'm a, I think I'll try graphite. And we'll see if um, the internal resistance can be improved. That way, I can get uh, more voltage, higher currents. We'll see. Um, all right. So there it is, the solid electrolyte little bitty battery. Um, they also charge back up with uh, external power source. Uh, I'll have to make another video on showing that, and we'll, we'll go over that. Okay, see y'all. Okay. This right here is a little bit more interesting. Here's a piece of uh, magnesium fire starter uh, off of one of the fire starters. It's a piece of magnesium, a piece of graph oil, and the um, basically the solid electrolyte. And what I'm going to do is put that on there, the graph foil on there. All right, let's check a voltage out. All right. One point two seven volts and climbing. One point three volts. All right, now let's, let's check the current. This is really interesting. Watch the jump in the current. Check that out. It's way over 100 mil, uh, microamps. <clears throat> and that's with a solid piece of electrolyte on magnesium. <clears throat> Now I'm wondering if I coated the magnesium in this solid electrolyte, if it would protect it from oxygen and not oxidize. But um, instead of wondering, I think I will do it. So we'll, we can find out whether or not this will, will work. <clears throat> All right. Uh, a little bit more samples. Boom. Check that out. Boom. 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 Okay. I tried it with some copper. I thought, well, copper might work pretty good, but <clears throat> it's a little bit slower on the on the go here. Look at this. It's not as good. Graph oil. Boom. 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 Let's see. So I'm going to coat the magnesium in the solid electrolyte and see what we can get. Okay. Updates will come. Bye.